In this video, I want to review how you can use the laser to lay out points in the field. I've noticed that this was a complication for me at the beginning because I wasn't sure the correct button pushes or the process to make sure to get it to work. And I'm going to show you two ways that you can use the laser to lay out. And the first way is if you have heights turned off. And the second way is when heights are turned on. And I'll show you both. So what I have here on the screen, as you can see, I have completed a grid line stationing. How you station your tool does not matter. What matters in this instance is I'm going to go ahead and turn heights off to show you what happens when you station and heights are turned off and you try to lay out with the laser. So here I go to general settings, turn the state the heights off, and let's go forward. I'm going to exec my stationing and I'm going to go ahead and lay out some points. So this first video is going to be laying out points with heights turned off. So right now I have my plan inside of here and I'm in layout. My laser's turned on and I'm going to go ahead and tell the tool to lay out, let's say LP1. So I'm going to zoom into LP1 and press it. And the first thing it asked me to do is to turn to a benchmark to lay out that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my tool to a benchmark height that I want to measure to. And all that means is if I'm going to lay out points on the ceiling, I'm going to turn it to the ceiling and measure. If I'm going to lay out on the ground, I'm going to turn the laser to the ground and measure the ground. So now the tool knows what surface it needs to lay out on. So let me go ahead and do that. Now what you'll notice is that the phrase for the tool warning you that you need to turn it to a benchmark is only going to appear for maybe two seconds. And then it's going to go to a screen that's going to pop up like this. It's going to start to show you that it's trying to find that point. Well, don't worry. Make sure you just press the measure button right over here. And you measure the surface that you're trying to measure your points on. So I'm measuring my ceiling right now because that's where I want to lay out these points. And after I measure the ceiling, you see it's thinking. And it's automatically turning to where that point should be and giving me a layout with the laser. Okay. So now that it's on the ceiling, I can. you'll see that I can press LP2 now and it knows exactly where to turn because it knows the surface I'm asking it to turn on. So the process again, if you're not using heights, after you station, you go into layout, you press a point you want to lay out with the laser, it's going to ask you to measure benchmark height, turn to the surface that you want to measure all your points on, measure it, and then start laying out your points and it should turn for you. If it ever prompts you to measure the surface again, simply remeasure the surface you're measuring to and then it should turn right to the point. So in this next section, we're going to review how to do laser point layout when your heights are turned on. And before I get into it, I want to show you a couple of things regarding our point list to help you understand what the tool is doing when the heights are turned on. So here I am on my job. I'm going to open up my point list and I'm going to go ahead and go to this edit button to make it easier to see. When I'm in this view, you can see on the right side, all of my points have coordinates. They have a northern coordinate, an eastern coordinate, and a height coordinate. Long story short, if my heights are turned on, the tool is going to not only turn with the laser to the northern and the eastern coordinate, but it's also going to turn to the height value of these points. Because of this, if you look at my point list, I have some height values of 0, which are my layout points. I have some measured points that have a height value of 3 8 another one with, with a sixteenth of a height value, and then I have a station point down here that has a height value of 5 feet, 2 and 9 sixteenths. So, theoretically, if I was to lay out these points and I ask the tool to turn to those points, it's going to not only find the northern and the eastern coordinate, but it's also going to be turning to the correct height value of those points. And the height value is going to be based on whatever height value I decided to measure in when I stationed, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Okay, so let's get to it. Let me start by making some new points here. I'm in point creation. I'm going to just put some points on these walls here. I'm going to press check, and I think these points are going to be numbered 4, 5, 6, and 7. Let me open up my point list and show you that 4, 5, 6, and 7 on a 2D CAD plan are coming up with a zero height. And I'll be honest, 99 times out of 100, if you have a CAD plan and you're putting points on them, the height value of those points are going to be zero. The only time they won't be is if you have a more complicated CAD plan in your, in your file, and it's three-dimensional or something like that, where the, the CAD entities themselves are all different height values. But 99 times out of 100, it's going to be zero, and you, and you can always open up your point list and check to see what height value they're coming in at if you need to. Now, next step is I'm going to station again, and this time when I go to the height section, I'm going to put in a benchmark height. So let me get stationed. So I've just completed stationing, and now I'm going to go to my settings gear. I'm going to turn my heights on. And now it says 
height value is not set. So if I press check mark, it's going to warn me to set the station height before I go on. And in the stationing, it's right here. I'm going to set my station height. And in this screen, there's another video about how to do all this, but I'm going to keep it basic. I'm going to set my manual height and tilt the tool where my zero value is. Essentially, as you can understand now, where I want to lay out my points, where I want to lay out those zero value points that you saw my point list. And for me, I want to put this on the ceiling. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my tool to the ceiling and measure it as the zero benchmark height. I will press measure. And now I'll press check. And you can see that the tool is showing that it's below the ceiling and the ceiling is being recognized as zero. So when I press check and I go into layout and I want to lay out one of these points, I'll lay out point five. It's going to turn to the point and it's not asking me for that benchmark height measurement because it now knows where zero is and it turns straight there and it's able to give me my measurement. Now I'll go to point four. So it's that simple. So the nice thing about it is that the height value is measured in at the very beginning. I simply just make sure I select the points I want to lay out and the tool is going to go to that height value and the northern value and the eastern value of the point and let you know with the three coordinates how close it's getting to that point. But just keep in mind if I was to try to lay out any of the other points that has a height value, such as this station point right here of 5 feet, it's actually going to turn to that 5 foot 2 and 9 sixteenths location on my job site as well. So just keep that in mind. If you're laying out points with zero, this is going to work great for you. Now let's say that you want to start laying out points on the ground. So I just laid out some points on the ceiling. Now I want to switch over and lay out the same points on the ground. Easy peasy. I just simply go to my home screen, stationing, and instead of going through the whole stationing process again, I can just go here and readjust my station height. I'll go to my station height, set manual height, turn the tool to the ground, and measure it in as the new zero height. And now when I go and I lay out those points, when you tap these points, they're gonna be laid out on the new zero that you just measured in, and in this case, the ground. So I hope that helps you out. Please leave any questions in the comments, but that's how you can go between laser mode with heights on and off to lay out your points.